Greetings! I'm Chappers. And I'm the captain. And we're at Anderton's. Uh, doing some demonstrations of this fantastic RC30 Looper pedal by Boss. Yep, brand new. Again, brand new, bringing you world exclusives here with Chappers and the captain. Uh, so, RC30. Uh, you guys might uh, be familiar with the predecessor to this, the RC20. This is the new, new version. We're here March 2011. I have my little comparison chart here provided by Roland to tell you why this is better or different to the previous RC20 XL and also different to the Digitech Jamman Stereo. So, first and foremost, we now have three hours of stereo recording time. That's 190 goldfish. Exactly. And that's compared to the previous RC20, which was only 16 minutes in mono, or the Jamman Stereo, which is 35 minutes in stereo. We have 99 internal memory tracks. Again, it's the same as the Jamman Stereo, but uh, 88 more than the old RC20. We now have two tracks that I can record and switch between uh, at the same time. We have uh, battery operation, although again, a bit like the other one, I don't expect the batteries will last terribly long. Uh, we have USB storage, which is cool, so I can now, all the tracks that I put in here, I can back up to USB, uh, which the old RC20 didn't do, but the Jamman stereo does do. Uh, we have phantom power on the microphone, so if you're using a condenser mic to record your acoustic or something like that, you can phantom power it from the pedal, which the uh, other two don't do. And we now have some funky effects built in, so I can apply uh, a bend down effect, we have a step phaser, a sweep filter, some tempo delay, and some lo-fi delay. No, not delay, sorry, like a lo-fi effect, so it makes it sound like coming out of a crappy old tape recorder or something. Uh, which neither of the Jamman Stereo or the RC20 do. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? It's a lot of fun. The bend down effect made me laugh immediately. We love looping. Um, so I'm sure you can see in some of the close-up sweet shots the sort of buttons on here. Now I've got two pedals. So it does make it a little easier to operate than the, the smaller single pedal one, because now I can use this pedal here for my um, play and record and overdub modes, and this pedal I can use for stop. And by actually double tapping them, I can do things like engaging the effects, um, or I can stop everything, or I can change tracks using this pedal, or I can undo using this pedal. So, a little bit like we did on the RC3 uh, demo uh, you saw on the last video, uh, we're just going to mess around. Of course, what I do now have, which the smaller compact pedal doesn't have, is a dedicated microphone input. So that's why we've got the mic here, which we're going to mess around with. Uh, and I still have my auxiliary input if I want to dub some or loop some stuff off an iPod or something like that. It was nice of Boss to name it after me, wasn't it? Robert Chappers 3. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 30, I thought it was nice. Trivia for you: The guitar player for Rob Palmer on that tune was called Guitar Eddie. Was he? Yes, he was very good too. Very good guitar no player. In the video. <laughs> I tell you, <laughs> that's so <laughs> sexy. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Heal! I just pressed the bend down effect. See what happened? See what happened uh, there? I'll do it again. Ready? I'll press it again. Look. See? <laughs> it's amazing. <sighs> um, right, we're going to pop this on the floor now and just. Do some silly looping for you. Or not silly looping, but give you an idea of what no, we're really doing here. Looping. Two, three, four. <laughs> oh, I want to do that with Rebecca Black Friday. Who's she? Friday! We're using a. Funky Black Star 50 Watt Series 1 head. Which uh, I think is the best amp they've made so far. Yeah, That's certainly it's my favourite Series 1. Yeah. Um, and we've got the Black Star reverb pedal going through the loop as well, just to apply a little bit of reverb. The reason we've got it through the effects loop of the amplifier is so that we can change channels uh, and record loops using one channel, but then overdub or play, play over the top using a different channel. Uh, so you can do that as long as your amp's got an effects loop. That's probably the best way to use these loopers. 
If you don't have an effects loop, you can just plug in the front end, but then of course bear in mind as you change channels on your amplifier, you'll apply that channel change to whatever the loop is doing as well. <laughs> And I've been the captain. Thank you so much for watching our fantastic video all about the RC30 looping pedal from Boss, which costs uh, £239. Imperial credits of money, long weight. And available from Anderton's.co.uk. <laughs> Which costs uh, two hundred and thirty nine pounds. Here, <laughs>
I'm coming to get you, Lee. Yes, I'm under your bed. I'm going to eat your soul. I'm coming to get you, Lee. Yes, I'm under your bed. <laughs> um, Rob's just going to play uh, some clean stuff that we're going to loop around. Then I'm just going to show you what the built-in loop effects uh, make the loop sound like. So give us a count me in. What did he go? Okay, so the first one is going to be the step phaser. And the next one is called a sweep filter. Oh. Then we got tempo delay. Last one uh, is lo fi. And finally, we have bend down, which uh, you guys know. I've got to say, they were quite good effects. The um, stereo sweet filter and the tempo delay were very yeah. good. Well, what we didn't demonstrate, of course, the tempo delay, I could tap in oh, the I see. delay to, to you know, change that differently. Yeah, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, do check it out. More information on the Anderton's website, available to buy now. So um, yeah, that's it. Bye.